Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lily Cohen. Welcome to my second video. I haven't done one in so long because I haven't really been anywhere. New Zealanders are pretty much trapped inside because of not being able to get a room in isolation has changed since I came through. I do have those videos linked in the description box below. My only choice is to take a domestic trip, so here I am in Wellington. Wellington, it's going to rain. Please check out my flight review with Jetstar. The problem with domestic travel in New Zealand is you need to pack under 7 kg. That's very difficult for me. I have done it before <laughs> in the middle of winter when I went up to New Plymouth. I'll put it in the description box below. The difference between then and now is I now have the away suitcase which empty is considerably heavier than in my previous carry-on. It was 9 kgs. There seems to be a real possibility that your bag could get weighed. Now the other choice was to bring my backpack. I did pay more and the off chance that they weighed it, they didn't. Let's get into this. My other choice was to also just bring one pair of shoes. So basically I've got nothing in the top half. I tell a lie. <laughs> I, put, I, I did a spot of shopping because I'm right in the CBD. So these things did not come with me. This is empty. This is what I've bought since I've been here. These can't mean do outlet. I'm very happy about that. But I didn't bring enough warm clothes. So I'm so glad that was on sale. I'm trying this out still. I'm using this every day honestly because it just tucks into the bed. So my original idea for it was for flights to stick this into the seat back pocket and you can stick it under any mattress so yeah because I'm so used to putting my glasses in it now and my phone and things I've got my MacBook Pro I do recommend packing a Ziploc bag because and this is just this is to clean my glasses with because I've been eating a lot here in the Airbnb and avocado season <laughs> so I literally had a half an avocado sitting in here and so just kind of other like little leftover snacky things that I just want to have sealed just have the one packing cube and then a few other packages so all of my clothes fit in the packing cube unless I'm wearing them five full days that I'm away for this I've just got my camera battery charger and a little mi a lapel microphone. This is just an extra handbag. The problem is when you shop here, there's no bags anymore. So you actually need a bigger bag than like my standard handbag. So that if you buy anything, then you've got somewhere to put it. If you've seen any of my other packing videos, my usual underwear, wear and wash side. So I think I bought four pairs of underwear and I have done some laundry. And that's purely because I've been in an Airbnb which provided laundry powder so that's been possible. Extra masks. But a couple. I bought my e-reader because I was hoping the weather was going to be better than this. My PJs, I don't pack them in here because I'm obviously going to need them first. I bought one pair of socks with me which I wore on my flight up. Then I've washed them since then and they are ready for the flight back. Apple chargers and USB. So I don't have many choices of outfits. I wore my jeans up on the flight and I also wore this as just a icebreaker singlet. I will link these in the description box below. This is a tunic sweater but it's not warm, it's just acrylic. So I have a thermal, this is a Mac pack thermal, singlet thermal. I, I really could have just had the one. But I actually wore both <laughs> one day because I was so cold. And then if you've seen my video review of my Mons Royale leggings today, I'm just wearing some icebreaker pants. And my icebreaker, just a standard polo. Gosh, it seems like I've got a, I'm like a sponsorship for icebreaker, but they've just had a few sales recently. <laughs> and also over the course of 2021, because I've been in the country, I've sort of bought a few pieces and they're like, end of season sale, end of outlet, whatever sale which actually both of these items are. But I have worn everything. My advice for 
keeping it light is to choose to have merino clothing because it's lighter or silk if you can. Really, this is not a capsule video. I was purely trying to get in the under <laughs> in the under seven kgs, which I failed to do. Could see New Zealand the same like I have merino underwear for icebreaker as well so trying to have and these are also merino socks if you haven't seen my video on those so I am trying to keep it light this is a very light sleep t-shirt and then I have some silk pajama bottoms and obviously my bathroom bag well it's a standard size deodorant one fluid ounce I've had this so long and I just refill it because it's Cetaphil is what I use every day at home anyway <laughs> Bought some blasters because I knew I'd be walking a lot. Body wash, painkillers, so just the one strip, which I did need because my calves are killing me. A hair tie because it's Wendy Wellington. <laughs> Plus my hairbrush. Oh, and I also bought a little Ziploc bag with some vitamin, vitamin D, my vitamin C chewable, and my multivitamin. But on the way back, I will definitely be checking this. It's been really fun. I've had such a great time here in Wellington. Well, at least I'm not even on the same island. <laughs> mm -hmm. Check out some of the things that I've done. They are linked in the description box below. And also my flight review of going home to Christchurch is forthcoming. So consider subscribing.